Hello everyone! So today I am finally gonna try something that I wanted to do since last summer, but I am great at procrastinating, but here we go! You know how much I love brush pens, so I'm gonna see if I can make my own brush pens by using these water brushes and Copic refill ink. The brushes have an empty barrel that you usually fill with water, or you can fill them with water-based normal ink, but I want to fill them with Copic ink. One of these brushes has a flat nib, so it can be interesting to see how that will turn out. So it will hopefully work as these ink pens where you squeeze out the ink to the brush nibs and the only thing I believe would make my brush pens a little different is that the Copic ink is alcohol based and this ink isn't so I have no idea what the alcohol will do to the pens and the nibs, we'll see. And since I'm already making my own brush pens, I thought why not mix my own colors too? So I picked out the markers in the same colors of the refills, and yes, these are my only refills so far. I'm still quite new in the Copic Club. I mixed them on the paper to see what colors might work together, because I would prefer not getting any brown or grey colors. And I also realized I totally forgot one of the colors, which is the G00, one of my favorites actually. But I think the colors I'm gonna try to mix today are the RV29 and BG09, E21 and RV29 again, and lastly B39 and BV00. I hope these mixes will create some interesting colors that I can make some cool art with later in this video, so stay tuned for that. So first I am making the RV29 and the E21 mix, and it is a bit tricky getting the colors into the barrel since there is some kind of surface tension going on, but when taking it slowly it worked pretty well without any leakage. The red is so much stronger, so I only added a couple of drops to the E21. And now the moment of truth. And it actually works pretty well, it is a little streaky, but it is a brush and I kind of like the effect of it. I was going for something different than regular markers, so I think I achieved that goal. So I did the same thing with the other colors too, and mixed the RB29 and the BG09 for this dark purple color. And then the BB00 and the B39 for this really light pastel blue tone, almost like eggshell. And I'm sure that all these colors already exist on the Copic color chart, but I thought it was a fun experiment to try to mix my own custom colors. And before anyone comments that this is a waste of super expensive ink, I buy my art supplies to use them, and I probably use the same amount of ink as for one normal refill, and there is still plenty of ink in these bottles, so don't worry. I really like how the colors turned out and the brush effect. I think that you can get some really nice textures this way, especially with the flat brush. And I believe filling a brush pen with colorless ink or rubbing alcohol would be great to add patterns and textures to a drawing. So I made this little drawing here to have something to color with my new brush pens, and I actually drew a little doggo for once, for all of you dog people out there. I think the benefits with these brush pens that you can't really do with normal markers is different textures. You could probably do this scribbly texture that I'm doing for the hair, but since this nib is so much finer than normal Copic nibs, I feel you can get much more details in there. And I believe the flat brush is the one you can get the most interesting textures out from. I'm using a really light pressure so that the bristle creates this super fine striped pattern. I think that if you modify the nib just a little, perhaps you cut it a bit and make it more irregular, you could probably get some really nice wooden texture for example. I kind of wish I had some colorless blender ink or rubbing alcohol at home so that I could try making texture on top of other colors. 
but maybe that is for another video, perhaps. So I pretty quickly noticed the downsides with these pens and that is that they get really really juicy after a little while. Suddenly the red pen left an ink blob on her nose and I got super scared. And then later also on her shirt between the puppy's front leg. And I had to wipe the brush clean from the excess ink and then it went back to normal again for a while and then I had to clean it off again. This happened to the blue pen too and it didn't leave any blobs though but it also got super juicy and left a lot of ink on the paper. The finest purple one mostly stayed a bit drier though so I guess thinner bristle tips works better with this kind of ink perhaps. I might also add that I didn't push the barrels one single time for the blue or the red pen during this drawing process. There also happened a little accident when I was about to take some pictures of these brush pens afterwards and I left them laying on my desk with the caps off. Which was a huge mistake because the purple and the red pen leaked all over my desk and my nice desk background. I was able to clean it off with some acetone so it wasn't a huge problem but make sure to keep the caps on when you're not using them. So what's the point of these Copic brush pens and was it all I hoped for? Well, I didn't have very high expectations from the beginning to be honest. I actually thought that the alcohol would eat up the plastic bristle hair, but now after a couple of days they're still looking pretty good so I think that is nothing to worry about. Maybe it is acetone I'm thinking of that eats bristle hair, I don't know. And I think that for coloring a drawing, normal markers is still the best way to go if you want even nice colors without any ink blobs, but for adding additional textures and maybe just for scribbling and making interesting brush patterns, these brush pens would actually work pretty great. I think the brush pen I would have the most use for is the thinnest one, because I think you could use it to make some really fine details with. And even if the Copic brush nibs are quite fine as they are already, it is hard to get these really really fine details with. And I also believe it could work well for line work for example if you are just doing the outlines. But if you are doing a marker illustration and want to outline it in alcohol based ink, it would risk the coloring to blend together with the outline since both are alcohol based and alcohol based ink blends together as I said. So in that case I would recommend saving the outlines till last. And speaking of the outlines, I did actually use my trusty old Copic Gas Feud brush pens and I know I just said I could use the finest brush pen for outlining, but I am honestly not a huge fan of doing line work with alcohol based ink. The lines don't turn out as crisp as with water based ink. The alcohol ink spreads in the fibers of the paper and makes it look a little fussy. And I also felt I needed an extra element to tie this piece together, so I thought that black lines would look pretty. So would I use these brush pens again or make more of them? As I mentioned, I could definitely use the finer brush pen for details and the flat one for textures. But just for coloring, I would still go with the Copic markers, they are just way easier to use. But it was still a fun experiment and I'm glad I finally did it after such a long time, since I've been curious to see how it would work. I also really enjoyed mixing my own colors, even if they didn't turn out very exciting, I still like the color tones. I hope you liked this video and the artwork, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like and a comment and all that fancy stuff. And don't forget to click on that little bell icon to get notified whenever I post new art and videos and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, keep drawing my happy cats, bye!